Hi guys, today is June 26, 2013. This is Katie, Eden, Zach, Skylar, with special guest star, Joey. So this morning we woke up really early because we were going on a tour boat uh, with scientific learning um, prospects in it. And for breakfast we had leftover bagels. I had a jalapeno and cheese bagel with cream cheese on it. And then also there was cereal, um, the usual array of various cereals. How was your breakfast this morning, Joey? My breakfast was good. I had two bowls of cereal. I also had a bowl of cereal that was very filling and a glass of orange juice that was very delicious. And what else did we do after breakfast? Well, you can mention that we got up really, really early this morning uh, for the boat ride, so that was the next thing on our agenda. What we did is we packed up our lunches at the same time we ate breakfast and got in our vans and headed down to the docks at Seward. Uh, Upon boarding the uh, boat, we were given safety instructions and were ready to take off. After takeoff, we began our journey of the day and we just started going a nice speed into the nice ocean. So uh, the captain said at our fastest we'd be traveling around 24 knots. As we broke out into open water, we all went up onto the open deck and had a really good time looking at the mountains and the famous glaciers of the Kenai Fords National Park. Uh, Joey, what did you think about the glaciers and all the different types of mountains we saw? The mountains and glaciers were absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed seeing all the animals that were in the ocean and they all came really close to us. It was and then, yeah. What type of animals did we see, Joey? We saw um, humpback whales and sea lions, and then we saw some puffin birds. We also saw some orca whales, which were quite beautiful, and we saw some other animals. I would just like to add that the view was spectacular. There's nothing like anyone's ever seen before. It was just amazing. Uh, it's amazing to be in a boat in open water and see these beautiful scenes surrounding you. Everywhere you turn, there was a mountain or a beautiful sight or a glacier running down a mountain. It was just a magnificent feeling and it was incredible. Zach would also like to add that we saw other kinds of animals, such as sea otters. And we also saw a killer whale. But um, one of the most important things that we were there for was that we um, took four different classes while we were there. We um, did one about the uh, estuaries in the Kenai and Fords on National Park area. And there we talked about glaciers. And then we did another one where we talked about plankton and the different kinds. And we did a really cool experiment where we collected plankton. Joey, did you see anything special under the microscope today on the boat? Yeah, I saw tons of plankton swimming around. And I also saw this weird, like, ball thing that she didn't even know what it was, which was pretty cool. I also saw some small jellies that were in there as well they were microscopic obviously and they were moving around just like they were having a party an interesting fact that we learned today from another station is that jellyfish actually aren't a um they're a plankton because they don't swim against the current of the ocean they just float and uh our group <clears throat> group four saw a lot of orange jellyfish floating around after the boat. Uh, there, was a sec there was another station where we talked about um, um, picking up measurements of the water, such as the salinity, the depth, and the um, turbidity, which is pretty interesting because that's what our uh, Science and Materials Committee also does for us, so we are Pretty important. Skylar, what did you think about that station? 
I thought the station was really, really cool. Uh, we got to check out how deep the water is before you can actually not uh, see how murky the water is, uh, the density of the water due to the salt in the uh, ocean, and uh, a lot of, it was really cool, a lot of science and math involved. And then our fourth station, we went, to, uh, or at least for my group, our, four, our last station, we went to play uh, Jeopardy on, uh, on the top deck uh, for the the national parks uh, we had two rangers operating the questions and it was a lot of fun uh, truly there's nothing like school on a boat so that was the highlight of our day and although myself and a few others were violently seasick on the boat we made the best of it and it wasn't really violent <laughs> it was mild seasickness and I think a few people experienced that, but we made it through with the fish philosophy. We made the best of everything. And after the boat, we all congregated back at the campsite in Seward, and oh, then we came back for dinner. Joey, what did you think of dinner, and what was dinner like, and what did we have for dinner? For dinner, we had chili. That was, well, there was chili and PB&J. The chili was amazing, and lots of people, there was a lot of it, and so we had to get rid of it quickly. So, tons of people had, like, more than one bowl. With chili, we had cheese and noodles that we could put with our chili, and we also had different types of crackers and bread. A lot of people also got PB&J, but the few of us, when we went downtown, got food, such as myself. Uh, I got Subway, and I thought it was really, really good. Um, so after that, we're here with you now making the podcast. And I think once we finish this up, we'll all probably hit the sack and have some sort of an early bedtime. Because tomorrow, we are all really excited to go climb Exit Glacier and be able to see the ice field at the top. And it's gonna take a lot to get us there. So this is your 2013 podcasting committee. Signing off. Thank you.